the P-38 Lightning faced a terrifying new enemy at high speeds, and it wasn't enemy fire. I'm an aerospace engineer, and they encountered an aerodynamic phenomenon barely understood at the time, mock tuck. As aircraft approach transonic speeds, localized shockwaves begin forming, and depending on the design, that could happen even earlier. These shockwaves push the center of pressure, the point at where the lift force acts further behind the center of gravity, creating a significant nose down pitching moment. One of the first victims was the P-38 Lightning. Around Mach 0.65 to 0.68, Transonic shockwaves formed over its thick wing center section, cutting down lift, increasing drag, and shifting the center of pressure rearward. This also reduced downwash at the tail, crippling elevator authority and making dive recoveries nearly impossible. Engineers added dive recovery flaps to help move the center of pressure forward, but the solution was only partial. The full nature of Mach Tuck wouldn't be understood until later. Today, Mach Tuck is fought with smarter designs, like all moving stabilators and automated mock trimmers, while aircraft like the Concorde even redistributed fuel during flight to manage the center of gravity and stay balanced.